Life Experience Chapter 5 What Happened to Lily Jay hung up the phone. Honey, are you ready to go? she called. Jean was gathering some of her tools to take to Angela's. Almost, she called back. Joe said she called Lily to see if she wanted to come to Angela's. She said there was no answer. I'm concerned that something may have happened to her. Like she fell and can't get up? That's not funny. I'm sorry. Let's stop by her place on the way over to Angela's. Okay, babe. Let me grab some beer out of the fridge. Jean went to the kitchen and opened the refrigerator door. There sat the cat. I wondered where you were, she said as she shooed her out of the door where she sat. Jay, Jean called. I found the cat. Jay and Jean laughed about the cat incident on the way to Lily's. Lily rented a three-room apartment above a pawn shop. She had lost her partner a year ago to vaginal cancer. At age 65, not many of her cohorts were still around. Jay got the medicine bottle with Lily's spare key from its hiding place in the small garden that Lily tended behind the parking lot. They entered the stairway and went up to her door. Lily! Lily! They both called. Jay quickly unlocked the door and went into the dark room. Lily, where are you? Are you here? Jean called. There was a noise in the kitchen. Down here! came a voice. They hurried around the island that separated the living room from the kitchen area. There sat Lily on the floor, looking a bit washed out with a plastic garbage can. The two women helped her to the sofa and gathered tissue and cleaned the garbage can. What happened, Lily? asked Jay. I think it was something I ate, she ventured and vomited into the can. Will you clean my cat's box before you leave? I don't think I'm going to feel up to it for a while, she added, wiping her mouth with a paper napkin. The always mothering Jay suggested, Lily, you really should consider renting out your extra room. If there was an all-lesbian retirement community where I could smoke my weed, but there's not. You all know how difficult it is to find someone trustworthy. You need to have somebody around to look out for you. <laughs> I've got you, doll, she smiled. All right, Missy, said Jean. You get your way for now. We'll come up with a plan, though. Just you wait and see, she bent over and hugged Lily. Will you give Angela a call when you're feeling up to it? She wants to tell you about her bear plan, Jay urged. Lily perked up a bit. A uh, bear plan? Oh, I'll definitely call her. I, I want to hear all about this. Cat box cleaned, boost, senior citizens instant breakfast, and coffee prepared. They were ready to leave. We'll stop by on our way back from Angela's, Jean assured her. No worries. I would like it if you get my bowl and stash for me. Maybe it'll help my dizziness and nausea. Jay enthusiastically agreed. Sure will. To be continued.